everybody and welcome back to This Is Steph. Now today's video is going to be um, me making my son's birthday cake. Um, he did come up to me last week and told me that he wanted a shark cake. So I went out and bought stuff to make Jaws cake. Right? Then two days ago, maybe less than that, he informed me he doesn't want a shark cake anymore. He wants a dinosaur cake. Ah! So I'm looking for all these pictures on pick in, in you know what's it called pick interests or whatever it's called. Looking at all these different kind of cakes, like show him some of the dinosaur cakes. Picks out the most complicated ones, like and then he says to mummy, "Well, you are an expert at making cakes." Yeah, I don't think so, Logan. You know, some of these cakes like are major complicated and they're gonna take me weeks to make and I only got two days. So it's not happening. So here goes um me making my son's cake. Um I am gonna warn you that when I get carried away in my creation I might stop talking for a while so if I do bear with okay now let's get on with it right first things first turn your oven on okay let it pre-warm up um, it will help to stop the sponge going and flopping okay um, put it on 180 okay um, let it warm up before you do anything else, all right? Then I suggest you always line your cake tins, okay? If you do not line your cake tins, they more than likely are going to stick to your cake tin and then they will ruin your cake. Um, not so much if you're going to um, not ice it, but if you are going to make ice it, and you're going to make a birthday cake, I suggest that you line it with some grease proof paper. Do, do, do. Okay, draw around your cake tin. Okay, like so. Da da. One I did earlier. Oops. Okay, and then cut it out. This is. The little one that I cut out for my little cake tin. All right. After cutting out the bottom um, part of your cake tin cover, um, you obviously have to do the sides as well, otherwise they will stick. Um, I suggest that what you do is you get your grease tooth and you fold it up as many times as you fit your need for your cake tins. Okay. Then you can cut out more than one at a time, okay, like that. So, right, okay. Once you've got the pieces of paper, so once you fold them in half, cut them into pieces, okay, like this. Yeah, um, then what we're going to do, we are going to cut up one side, we've got little slits all the way down the side right as you can see I've done all the little slits down the side make them um, about a centimeter high um, you can do them all in one go if you line them all up rather than doing one sheet at a time depends on how you feel okay then we should start layering or uh, lining our tins when I cover it in I always I don't know why I always use poly roll not butter on it and then obviously cover your tins in butter round the sides too okay don't forget the sides otherwise the grease proof will not stick all right okay when you have done this and you have covered the bottom and the sides in margarine or butter whatever you prefer okay what you do next, you get the paper with the splits, sit splits in, okay, and you put that round the edge, okay, like so. All right. Um. 
I'll show you when I have put it together. Okay, once you have done that and have covered the sides, um, like so, um, you might not um, need two pieces, so cut it to fit, then get your circle part that you cut out and put it on the bottom over the top. I'm going to sort that in a minute. Um, over the top of the slits, okay? And this will stop your cake from sticking to your tin. Once you have covered your cake tin, now you can obviously get on with making your sponge mix. Um, I have cheated. I have gone and bought some of these things, okay? They are 27p, which is a ridiculous price you can't make it for that price um so i have cheated i have gone and got some sponge mixes um you do you can make them into a chocolate sponge mix if you add some cocoa um, powder to it you can also make it different colors if you want to um the only thing i suggest if you are going to make it different colors that you use quite vibrant colors and you might need quite a lot of food dye. If you do not put enough food dye in, your cake will not come out um, a very vibrant colour. Depends what colour you want, obviously. Okay, so I will be making sponge mix next. I say this is really easy. You just add water and eggs and it's done. Yay! Right, this is just the basic sponge mix, okay? the more sponge mixes you are going to need um, I'm an, I've am i done two for this size cake tin which I think is about a 10 inch okay um, and we'll see how it goes alright it's been mixed up in the food processor um, you don't have to use food processor you can use your hand mix whisks or whatever you've got okay I am going to make one cake, um, chocolate cake, okay? So I'm going to use some cocoa powder. Um, I'm also going to put some chocolate chips in it, okay? To make it a little bit more fancy, all right? Right, I've sipped the cocoa powder into the mix, okay? Um, I should just use sieve it, it just makes it easier to stir into the mixture. Um, do this, mix it up. I must admit, I usually taste it, but then I really like right um, sponge mix raw. And some of you probably do too. But taste it, give it a good stir, you know, and then taste it, see what you think. Okay, right, I've stirred it up. Okay, um. I am going to taste it. Don't think I have washed my hands, okay? I promise. Going to taste it. Mm -mm. Make sure it's chocolate enough. I would say it's pretty perfect. And then I will add the chocolate chips. Okay? Mm. Make sure you wash your hands after you've tasted it too. <laughs> then add your chocolate chips. Okay. I must admit, I have put in a whole packet of chocolate chips. I don't know how many's in here. I'm going to... I don't know. Oh, well, 100, 100 grams, okay? So, I don't know how much you put in, but why not? Birthday, let's bung it all in. Yes, go for it. Then stir these up into the mixture and put it in your cake tin. Do try not to eat any more. Now my son Bradley has decided he is going to scrape the bowl out because it's too nice to <laughs> too nice to leave. I do admit, it tastes like the, chocolate mix. He likes sponge raw sponge mix like his mother. It's, it's delicious. It tastes like chocolate mix. Try not to get too much round your mouth. <laughs> it's hard. I only use it with a spatula. 
Right, we'll leave him to do this while we put the cake in the oven. I'm going to put the timer on for our first minute and then I will put it. Right, for the little cake, I sort of tried to add some food dye. Um, I've added yellow, but it looks more green than yours, man. And then I'm going to add some popping candy. It does look a bit up green, doesn't it? No, perhaps it is. I don't know. Anyway, that's for the little cake. I've added some Tutti Fruity flavoured popping candy to the cake mix. Don't drop it in there. Ah. Right, I'm going to stir it in very gently and then I'm going to bung it in this. You can hear it pop. Little cake tin. Okay. Okay, these are the finished results. This is the chocolate one. And this is the yellow tutti fruity one. Okay, as you can see, I just put a skewer into the middle of each cake to make sure they were cooked properly. Okay, if it comes out clear, then it is cooked. Now we're going to stick them on the wire wax and let them cool down before we decorate them. Okay, right, taking them out of the cake tins, um, we've put them on the wire wax to cool down a bit before decorating um, and also putting butter icing on. Don't want to put butter icing on warm cakes, okay? Right. Okay, once you think they've cooled down a bit, turn them over, okay? And then you can start pulling off the grease proof. Be very gentle, very careful, okay? Because you will end up losing some of the cake otherwise. All right? Okay. Right, cakes have been unwrapped from their linings. Okay, this is what they look like. They still need to cool down a bit more. They are still very hot. Okay, I think that's the end of this video, um, otherwise I do think it may be a bit on the long side and you may get a little bit bored with me. Um, so I'm going to leave it here and I shall do the next video on decorating the dinosaur cake. Okay, thank you all for watching, please like, subscribe and please comment below and hopefully you'll come and watch the next one where I try really hard to please my son with his dinosaur cake. Thank you for watching. Bye.